everyone! Thanks for joining me this week for our next crafting project. So this week we are going to be making paper stars and uh, to do that we are going to be using uh, lunch bags, lunch paper bags. Uh, so this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about this project. So all you need to start off for this project is you need seven paper bags and then whatever coloring utensils that you want to start with. So I have some um, tempeh kiwi uh, paint sticks over here. I have some markers, um, but you can use paint, you can use whatever coloring utensils you have at home to help make this project so much fun. You also will need is some glue and a pair of scissors. So you might need someone um, who's a little bit older to help you out with some of the cutting that we're going to be doing later on. Um, so with that, let's get so for this project, we're going to take our seven bags and we're going to do whatever design we want to do on the one side. And then we need to make sure to let it set and dry, if, especially if we're using any paint, for one hour before we can move on to our next step. What's so fun about doing a project like this is that you have so many different options for different designs that you can do. So I'm going to start off with doing some scenery and some uh, different shapes and different colors and just have a lot of fun with it. Um, I'm just using the paint sticks to help the process go a little bit faster, but obviously with other paint it would take a little bit more time, but you can also uh, do some more design. If you wanted to do whatever type of scenery that you love, things that mean something to you, I'm just going with some different outdoor and uh, especially some water because I love to be in the water. All right, so now that we have all of our different one sides going on, um, so I'm gonna let them dry for a little while and then we can come back and do the other side. All right, so now that it's been a little while, we have, um, we're gonna do the other side of our bag. So we're gonna make sure to do the bottom part as well as the whole back side of it. Um, so it's the same thing that you can do whatever type of design that you want and just let your creativity go and do whatever you are interested in. So like the first side that I use more of a paint based stuff, um, this side I'm going to just use markers and that I can do um, more fun and colorful uh, details and different designs. Uh, so what's fun about doing this project is you can kind of put different parts of your personality and different parts of who you are on this as you're decorating. So some of the things that I love, I love riding my bike and I love my cats and I'm also um, from Florida. So, you know, I always grew up around palm trees. So add all these little details to the outside of the bags that you are decorating. All right, so now that we have all of our bags decorated and they're all dried and they're all set, so the next part of what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bags, so I have this one here, um, and then we're gonna put glue, a whole lot of glue on it. So we're gonna use our glue sticks for this one. So you're gonna make a kind of upside down T um, on your bag to kind of get it to set. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and then we can talk about what to do next. So I know I just we all just did these awesome designs on these, but we're gonna put a whole bunch of glue because it's gonna hit, help it stick better. And then we're gonna, so we got the T going on. Be really generous with the glue because we want it to stick. And then we're gonna take the other side of one of our bags, so the side that we, um, the side that doesn't have the bottom part on it, and we're gonna flip it and press it down. And then we're gonna do the same to this. We're gonna take another one, so lots of glue. And keep on going. All right, so now we're gonna let that set for an hour so that all of it can dry. And I just remembered one of, the, so this is, you know, sometimes happens with crafting, but one of the things I forgot to tell us to do is to make sure to also color these inside parts as well. So I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna leave that blank, but I encourage you guys to add your own designs. So um, when you're kind of doing your initial decorating, if you can also just add the colors in between, so that way you really get to have as much fun and as much color as you can.
So I'm gonna let that sit for a while. All right, so now that we've let it sit for a while and everything's all dry, uh, the next part what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut um, our paper bag. So all we're gonna do is kind of cut it so it has the point of the star. So we're just going to So this is the part you probably, um, for our younger friends, you're gonna wanna make sure to have someone older to help you out with it just to make sure everyone is safe. All right. And then we're going to go like that. So um, like I said, if you had it, if you designed in the middle, then that you can see all of that on the side, but so this way you can kind of see how it's gonna turn out. Um, so we're just going to go back this way for a little bit and make sure to go and kind of do the same glue on this side Just so that way whenever we open it, it will all stick together. All right All right, so now we got our glue and so we're just gonna put our hand in and go Around just so it can kind of Might want to just hold your hands in there for a little bit so it can set. But you can get the idea. Um, so everyone is going to have a bag included that's going to have uh, a couple bags included that are going to have the um, holes punched out of the side. So that way um, going to have some um, holes punched into it. So that way you can put your ribbon or string um, and then that way you can hang your paper star up in your room and display it for everyone to see. So yeah, turned out pretty cool. So there we go. Here's our paper star and I hope you guys enjoy. Please share whatever projects you have been working on and I hope to see you all soon.